Welcome to another episode of Catholic Culture and Faith. Today's episode is going to be focusing on drugs. Yes, you heard me right. Drugs have become a major problem all over the globe, and even in our own neighborhoods and our own inner circles. In this episode, we're going to be discussing what the Catholic Church defines as drugs, what offense it falls under in the commandments. So let's continue on. In the last couple years, almost everybody in the world has heard of a certain drug crisis that has gripped many places, including Canada, the United States, and has caused many fatalities, injuries with the overconsumption of drugs, which in particular is opioids. Let's look to more recent issues that are being set to be passed in the summer of 2018 in Canada, and that is the legalization of marijuana. We have two different extremes, both at polar opposite ends of the drug spectrum. One is opioids, and the other is marijuana. One is very hard and very addictive, and the other is much milder, but still has some health issues and dependence issues. So let's look to the Catechism and see what the Church has to say about drugs. As a Catholic, can I consume or use recreational drugs for my enjoyment? If they are legal in my country, can I consume them? Well, these are some of the things we're going to dig deep and find out today. Before we go any further, I think we really should look at what the Catechism states. The Fifth Commandment states, The use of drugs inflicts very grave damage on human health and life. Their use, except for therapeutic grounds, is a grave offense. So what is a drug? To many people, this can mean many different things. The definition I'm about to give you isn't from the Catechism, but from an online dictionary. Pharmacology, a chemical substance used in the treatment, cure, prevention, or diagnosis of disease, or used otherwise to enhance physical or mental well-being. Any substance intended for the use in diagnosis, cure, mitigation, treatment, or prevention of diseases in humans. A habit-forming medicinal or illicit substance, especially a narcotic. A chemical substance prepared and sold as a pharmaceutical item, either by prescription or over-the-counter. Now that we have an understanding of what a drug is, let's go over this. So a drug can be anything from a chemical substance prepared and sold as a pharmaceutical item, either by a prescription or over the counter. It can be a habit forming medicinal or illicit substance, especially a narcotic. In other words, any street drug, including marijuana, is a drug. Now that we have a good understanding of what drugs are, let's go over what the church and the catechism say about drug use again. The use of drugs inflicts very grave damage on human health and life. Their use, except for therapeutic grounds, is a grave offense. So by the definition provided in the statement from the Catechism, the use of all drugs can only be used under therapeutic circumstances, otherwise it's a grave offense. Really simple. If you're a Catholic, no matter what your thought on the subject of recreational drug usage is, it's a grave offense to do so which in layman's terms is a moral sin, and it would be classified under the fifth commandment. A word of caution, any time you use any type of drug for a certain amount of time, whether it's for therapeutic or illicit purposes, there is a chance that you can become addicted, dependent, or it can develop into a habit from the usage of that certain substance, which can gain power over you mentally and or physically. Yes, every drug, whether it's coffee, a pharmaceutical pill or liquid, something grown from the ground, or made in a clandestine laboratory, they all have potential to have some sort of addictive qualities, and might even have short-term or long-term lasting effects. Some might be more minor than others. Just think, some of these effects might not even be known yet. Just remember to consult with your doctor to prevent these types of issues from occurring if it's for therapeutic reasons. If it's for the recreation purposes, just stop before it becomes an issue. The main reason, in my opinion, the Church is against the recreational use of drugs is simple. The addiction factor. And another main reason that it can also disrupt your main focus in life, which should be the love of God in your neighbor. Remember that we are called to love God with our whole hearts, with our whole soul, and with all of our mind, and to love our neighbor as ourselves for the love of God. Some of the most important verses in our faith, which tie together with the Ten Commandments. How do you love your neighbor or follow the commandments of our faith and function in life? 
if you're too preoccupied with drug usage. Lighter drugs might not stop you from following your faith, but a lot of hard drugs have the potential to control your lives when abused. Just remember, addictions don't happen overnight. Many people start light and eventually start using harder drugs because they become used to the effects. Just remember that most of the time these situations can be preventable simply by not partaking in their usage unless they are for therapeutic use and being monitored by a doctor. What might be fun and trendy today might be illicit or have long-lasting effects that could have serious consequences in the future. From all of us here at Catholic Culture and Faith, stay strong, stay faithful, and stay united.